Okay, so hello. Today uh, we have a new beer uh, up for review. Today we have Six Point Abigail Ale. Um, I saw this at the brew shop the other day and I wanted to go ahead and pick it up. It was just something I had never seen before. Um, here it goes right there. That is Six Point Abigail. Uh, per the label, it clocks in at 8% ABV, 52 IBUs. 14 SRM, which is right, well, that's all within style except for that 52 IBUs. Um, this is a little hoppier than I would have thought it would have been. Normally, um, Belgian strong ales aren't hoppy at all. Uh, you get somewhere in the teens, maybe the, maybe the 20 pushing it, never 52 uh, IBUs. So um, what I'm expecting from this beer is uh, a little bit different than the style, um, which is okay because I don't think that, you know, some of these beers, uh, breweries in uh, Belgium have been doing these, uh, brewing these, you know, beers, these Belgian strong ales, these doubles, these triples. They've been doing this for centuries. So it's going to be really hard to, to compete with that, with centuries worth of knowledge uh, and expertise. So, yeah, I, I kind of understand what six point... Um, is going with this you can't compete with them so just you know try to use what they do and 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 make it your own um on the back here it has some uh i don't know paragraph it says carry the the monastic torch through the darkness and the star keeps on shining it's mad uh science uh doesn't really say much it was uh yeah it was this ale was dry hopped with fresh hops there goes the the back there Sorry, there's some condensation on that. Any case, um, let's go ahead and get this into the glass here. I have a Chimay glass. Sorry, I don't have a fancy uh, six-point goblet. But nonetheless, I have a goblet or a chalice in this case. So let's get this poured. Oh, it's pretty good. It looks exactly like a Belgian uh, strong ale should look like. It's that copper color, uh, murky. You can't see through that. Um, nice, you know, half inch, or excuse me, half a finger's worth of just like a, a, a tan head. Oh, okay. So this is where this. When I was talking about the the, the fifty two IBU, this is where they they differ, right? Um, Right up front on this beer, you're getting a very grapefruit. Uh, you're getting a very grapefruit smell combined with the yeast. All right, so usually a lot of the a lot of the Belgian IPAs that I've had haven't worked. I personally tried to brew two different uh, beers, uh, home brewed two, two different uh, Belgian IPAs that didn't work. I just think that sometimes it doesn't work because that Belgian characteristic from the yeast, which is normally like a banana clove thing, doesn't work with our American hops. Um, so, uh, you know, it's refreshing to smell that and hope, and I hope what's in that actually, that's, it does smell really good though. Um, I hope what, what's in here actually finally gets that merger right um, because it is difficult to get that down. So, all right, so just getting back to it. You smell, you smell sweet, you smell citrus, grapefruit. You see, you smell the hot, uh, excuse me, the malt in there. Yeah, uh, overall, that, that's what you get. You get more of a citrus, grapefruit characteristic, sweet smell, and uh, a malty backbone than that. So, let's go ahead and put this down the hatch, man. That looks good. All right. Okay, so um, what I was saying about the, the marriage, right? The marriage of the hops and the yeast, uh, it's very difficult to pull off. Well, I should say the Belgian hop, uh, yeast and, the, and our American hops. So what this is to me um, is, is more of an IPA than a Belgian strong ale, Belgian pale ale. While I do get that that Belgian quality in there from that yeast, which is the dark, um, that dark, you know, fruits, the, the prunes, the raisins, the, uh, you know, just those, those dark uh, uh, fruit uh, characteristic. I do get a, a massive punch of the hops. 
Now, which is not a bad thing, I guess, um, because this is still an enjoyable beer. Um, yeah, um, this is a, it's a departure from the style. And like I was saying before, um, you're not going to beat these Belgian traps, uh, breweries, or just uh, breweries that have been doing it for centuries. So, you know, why not make it your own? Why not take some of what they've done and just make it your own? And I, and I understand where Six Point uh, doesn't want to compete with that because, frankly, I'm not sure any um, uh, breweries in the United States can compete with what they've been doing. Granted, I've had, I've had some very good United States brewed uh, 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 Belgian beers, but anyway, that's what you're hearing over there. And there's a Trappist, a new Trappist brewery in Massachusetts, but that's what you're hearing over there. Okay, so what do I think of this beer? Listen, I think this is a good beer. It's a hoppy version of a Belgian uh, strong ale. Um, it, it's a departure from style. Normally, I do not like when when people try uh, the depart from that style. But what I think about uh, I. Uh, Six Point was trying to do was make it their own. So for that, I'm going to commend them because they're not trying to stick to that. But when you put, see, the problem I have is when you put words out here like monastic, the torch, uh, and, you, and you just talk about the dark ages and, um, and you have, you know, you have stone, uh, excuse me, uh, the, the, the design on the front that's, that's meant to mimic uh, the glass. Um, it, you, you try, you're, you're definitely telling us something in that this is a beer brewed to a certain style, um, and I, we don't get that. But you do tell us on the front that the 52 IBU, so so you're actually forewarning us. But and in any case, um, this is a this is a refreshing beer. I think it's a, more of an IPA than a Belgian beer uh, or American beer than a Belgian Belgian beer. So if you do like Belgian beers. Uh, but you don't like IPAs, this might not be the one for you. This is more on the hoppy side. But uh, if you do like IPAs and you do also like Belgian beers, this might be something you might want to give up. Excuse me, give it a try. Uh, overall, I'm going to go ahead and give this beer a B plus um, for its, its effort. Yeah, it's a good brew, so I'm going to go ahead and finish it off. Cheers, guys.